when it comes to so of uh, uh, animation and video game uh are typically separate demos because we're listening for different things. For animation, we're looking for... And these are kind of broad, broad strokes, strokes, general <laughs> starting places. Yeah. So just like we've been talking about, who is this demo serving? Who is this demo for? So when it comes to animation, we're looking for comedy. We're looking for range. We're looking for, if I hire you for an animated show, I'm going to need you to voice three different characters who might all be in the same scene. Can I believe you doing that? Um, and still have fun and have this different type of pacing and energy because animation moves really fast. Video game has a lot more space. Depending on the types of games you're doing, they can be very cinematic. We want to hear accents. We want to hear dialects. We want to hear, can I believe that this orc is a real person that I can play for an entire game? Exactly. Um, and I want to hear the movement in all of your stuff. I want to hear the scene work. Exactly. And that's kind of the big, the big thing to really listen for is the scene is, mm -hmm. do I feel immersed and involved with these characters that applies in a commercial setting as well, just in a different, you know, kind of context of like, you know, am I grabbed in and am I being absorbed in this world that we're creating, but in animation and video game, it becomes even more specific about mm -hmm. like, you know, where are you in the space? Like, am I yelling across the room? Are they here? Am I over there? Do like, I have different energy levels? Am I under duress? Am I whatever? Like all of these new acting things, just like you would have in a TV show or whatever, all come into play. So that's what we're listening for. And is, I do want to put a caveat as well for anybody who is currently thinking about putting together a demo. Do not put anything in your character, in your video game or animation demo that you cannot sustain for four hours. Yes. If you can't sustain it for four hours, do not put it on your demo because odds are that's what you're going to be <laughs> hired <Right>. to do. <laughs> and so, you know, in terms of industry standard, in terms of sessions and whatnot, generally your longest sessions that you'll be available for voiceover work is four hours. And so that's where that number comes from. Uh, and so, again, if you can't sustain it for, for mm -hmm. that period of time, uh, then don't put it on your demo. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, great. Yeah. Let's jump in with Ian. And the same rules apply. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Marines will deploy in sectors Kilo and Lima. Colonel, you and your team will provide air cover. Right here. Good. Bring me the amulet. He's so full. I'll strike you down. The virus will release me. Beside me. Thank God you are here. The power of the ancient Shogun. Fast First, no, no self, self then, then no, no enemy. enemy. <laughs> super, super interesting with this is... I obviously like given the nature of what this is in terms of being a video game demo, we're getting different vocal prints throughout. That being said, what I was missing was all the meat and potatoes behind the vocal prints. Like mm -hmm. there, it's really important and it becomes really obvious when you are like working in the industry and like this is, I mean, and this is what, I mean, Brittany and I are doing these sessions every day, like every week, this is our, our world. And so to my ears, it was very easy for me to hear that um, Ian was missing that scene work, that believability and oh. all of that backstory. That yeah, I was, I was just shocked. Like, oh, oh, that was a video game demo. I thought that was totally an animation. Animation. Game. No, and I thought the same thing. I thought the copy and the voices geared more towards animation. Mm -hmm. um, but even on top, even if you switched it to an animation demo instead of a video game demo, the, the scene work wasn't there. It just felt like, a voice and i think that's the challenge with character work is it's not about not just about the voice it also has to be a believable character that is living and breathing and interacting in a scene as opposed to just a voice mm -hmm. um, and that's what for me that's how it felt exactly in terms of like the structure and what we've been talking about about the length of the demo is great four seconds over yeah. perfect Fine. you know the production was pretty decent throughout um, but in terms of, you know, what, what really is important in this context is that scene work and that, that feeling behind everything, yeah. um, you know, uh, there can be, there can be quite a bit more umph work in for there. that. 